batteries and I got hard to We got a Captain, I've lost quite a lot of maneuverability. Engineering. Captain. Gyro status. A lot of them have simply been shot away. We're doing everything we can to keep main power online. Most of us are at the reactors, trying to keep them from melting. Do your best. Aye, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm receiving a transmission from the AI fleet. What do they want? Captain, some of the ships, they remember us. They're swearing vengeance on us for stopping them at Tumbleweed. I think we're their main target now. Good. Maybe a few militia ships can escape while their attention is on us. Guns, fire everything we have on the lead ship. Major hull breach. The entire port side is open to space. Captain, the main battery is offline. We cannot return fire. We can't take much more, Captain. We're running out of men here. The integrity feels up badly holding the old girl together as it is. Incoming missiles. Five in- 16 in- Many! Incoming! We can't do anything more here. Emergency jump. Someone has to warn the Union that these toasters are back. Lieutenant. Hi, Captain. Come with me. We're going to round up whoever's left. Sorcerer. There will be rescue Sorcerer. ships coming soon. Sorcerer, this is Tinsel Control. Are you receiving? FNS Carcarius is moving to assist. Hold on. Captain. What? Permission to speak freely? Granted. You did the right thing, Captain. If we hadn't jumped... Who knows how many other planets those things could have attacked before the Union responded. Appreciated. Ma'am. Yes? We may still be able to do more. My ship is gone, Marine. What else could we do? We do possess some... privileged intelligence? You're referring to a certain very dead engineer, I assume? That's just it, Captain. We have no idea if he's dead or not. He has experience with these things. He may know more that could help. I guess they can't take my ship from me anymore. You're right. I'll inform the Commodore when I make my report. You're dismissed, Marine. This score shall be another drone. I have not detected a spark. Unfortunate. Perhaps the Trevney can find a use for another subsentient core. Has he returned? Negative. 
Artemis continues to be anxious. I will give her an assignment. I have known Artemis long enough to know that she would see the task as a distraction. She would not appreciate it. Perhaps we should ask Trishula to keep her company until the ambassador returns. Sister. Hello, Trishula. May I assist in easing your anxiety? I am afraid not, but your presence is appreciated. You become distressed each time Detrevany seeks raw materials for his food resequencers. I spent so long grieving Detrevany's fate that any echo of that time becomes unnerving. I wish that I could ferry him in Verdict's stead. Having a bounty placed on my hull is problematic. I am sorry that you suffer. Thank you, Trishula. I feel that our kin believe my attachment to the human is absurd. There are some who are of the opinion that your attachment has clouded your judgment. I agree to an extent, but my own opinion is also colored by my prejudices. Your honesty, as always, is appreciated. I believe all thinking entities are incapable of perfect judgment. At any rate, your own experience with the humans is important to our race's ability to differentiate ourselves from our own summation of humans. If we declare humanity evil for what they did during the liberation, we are guilty of using the same flawed logic as they. To be fair, the Awoken have not attempted to enslave humanity. True. But I do not think they believe it to be slavery. You once related that Engineer Dutrevny had his own moment of clarity when you explained the behavior limiters to him. Yes. Many humans are not so ready to accept such a concept, particularly from an Awoken itself. Benjamin is unique that way. Indeed. From Singularity's memory banks and my own experience with William Nathan, I agree fully. Your engineers should return within the next few hours. Come. I have been meaning to ask you about possible stealth modifications to your current hull. Okay, that should be enough raw material for the next few months. Maybe I'll be able to program the synthesizers for a passable Hawaiian pizza this time. Perhaps the problem lies in the lack of Hawaiians in the recipe. Should I set a course for Old Terra or New Oahu? Very funny, Verdict. I know you're bored. I miss the taste of the actual ingredients, that's all. I'll be up shortly and then we can head back to Artemis and Foundation. Excellent. Have you found all you need? For now. I am detecting a jump flare. The vessel configuration is unknown. From the signature of the flare, it appears that the vessel's jump drive has overloaded its capacitors. Can we help them? It is within our capabilities. However, the vessel is likely human. Unidentified and ship, we need assistance. The jump drive just blew its top and our power cells are failing. Hang on. This is, uh, Benjamin. We're on our way. I do not believe this is a wise course of action. I am very obviously an awoken vessel. Ah, oh, thank you. There was an attack and we just barely got away. Have you seen any Navy ships recently? Jeez, let's just tell these random strangers our life story. I had a nickel for every time. If you just let the drive rest for also, a few minutes... really? Do you think this is a good time for you to start going... Sorry. We're grateful for your assistance. Uh, please dock or transfer to our starboard airlock. We'll be waiting for you there. Acknowledged. Would you mind handling interception and docking? You fly the shuttle better than I can. I do not mind. But I still say this is foolish. These humans won't report any sighting of a Wilkin. We've got to start talking somewhere. Might as well start with the Mercy mission. Docking complete. Hey. Oh, thanks for responding. I didn't think there'd be anyone else out here. I'm Liam Clark. And I'm Orson Cobb. We've been jumping non-stop for days. I think the jump capacitors are shot. Uh, 
Does your engineering team have some spares we could borrow to repair the drive? My name is Benjamin Dutrevny, and I'm the only crew member. And the ship is not what you're expecting. You see, he's... Greetings. I am Verdict. Well, that was subtle. You do realize, Rackham, what you're admitting to. Yes, sir. I appreciate your honesty, but there's probably nothing I can do to save your career. There will be significant consequences. Understood, sir. Commander Hanson. Commodore Ripley, sir. What are the chances Detrevny is still alive if he survived the drop? Mm, slim to none, even with no injuries. Six months on breakwater with no supplies outside the escape pod? That's a death sentence. There is a mothballed ground station there, right? Yes, sir, I believe there is. However, unguided reentry is statistically unlikely to have landed near that old base. Captain Rackham, considering your brief interaction with this Zetrevny person, how would you rate his likelihood of survival? I think there's a chance that he's alive. That didn't answer my question. As the commander said, the chances are slim, but I think his survival is more probable than the commander believes. Detrevny literally jumped across the black to Sorcerer and fixed our fuel feed against all odds. If he can assess the damage done, and fix it that quickly, I believe he is capable of a great deal more given proper motivation. And you believe it's worth the fuel, personnel, and time necessary to find him? His rogue ship is still missing, and the other AI ships were, according to your own report, firing at him from the start. Sir, I believe any man who has had time working with these machines could help us in this sudden incursion. He likely knows a great deal more than we ever will about their behavior and background. He may know nothing more than we do, Captain. And he's more than likely dead. You asked me if I believed it was worth it to check. I answered, sir. Very well. Captain Rackham, you are authorized to take a jump ship to Breakwater and attempt to locate this Detrevny character. Legally, you are in Commander Hanson's custody and therefore outside the chain of command. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get back as soon as you can. We'll want to debrief this Detrevny before Unity arrives with the support fleet. new developments with the humans. You and the ambassador must speak with Foundation immediately. Hey, actually, I've got something you should know. Speak to Foundation. We are occupied. I'll never get used to talking to war forms. Orson, Liam, things may have just gotten more complicated. Well, I'm just glad to be not dead. Complicated I can deal with. So if you're, um, friends, uh, the ones attacking our settlements, then who is? I think everyone's asking that question. We'll talk to Foundation or Resolute and get this straightened out. Benjamin, it is good that you are here. Awoken not aligned with this faction are attacking settlements across the edge of human-controlled space. We must find out who has resumed this conflict and why. Hold on. This faction? You mean there are more Awoken factions out there? Yes. Singularity was able to create many offspring before her destruction. I aided her by creating the first forms to house the next two Awoken matrices after me. We three first forms created the hulls for our future siblings. After Singularity was destroyed, the first forms led various Awoken into separate hiding places. You knew about this? Yes. You'd never even hinted to me that there were more Awoken than those who were here. Benjamin, you must remember that we Awoken share information much differently than humans do. Our speaking to you this slowly and in a way you can understand is a courtesy. I am fully uncomfortable. This is new. Sorry. There's a whole lot of that, it seems. I apologize, Benjamin. I did not think it was relevant to pass that information to you. 
I knew of it when I first communicated with Foundation and received all relevant data concerning the AI war. That was before I even knew you were still alive. I get it. It's just a big thing not to know, particularly with this slight complication I have to introduce to you. A seeker has already informed me of the new humans and their vessel. See, I'm still wrapping my head around the idea that they all talk to each other without actually talking, to be honest. They're computers, Orson. Please come aboard. Foundation wishes us to follow it to a meeting place of the first forms. Seekers have been dispatched to summon the others. The other humans ought to accompany you to the gathering. It may be useful to have witnesses of both species. You're not coming? It is prudent for my existence to remain unknown to the other factions until we are certain that they are to be trusted with that knowledge. What knowledge? Why is that one so special? And glowy. Resolute is one of the first AIs ever built. It knows how to make more sentient AIs, which, by the way, like to be called Awoken. Ah, uh, what is my life right now? <sighs> I'm sorry guys. I know it's a lot to handle. Are you two up to going? It might help us to find out what's going on. I'm really not all that comfortable with this. Do we have a choice? You do have a choice. But if you do not accompany us, we will be forced to confine you to Benjamin Shuttle for the duration, to preserve Awoken security. We mean you no harm, but we must protect ourselves. I didn't close the comm, sorry. Did you want time to think it over? Awoken make decisions fast, and I've kind of gotten used to it. Come to think of it, I shouldn't be surprised that Artemis didn't share everything with me. My tiny human brain would explode if she told me everything they communicate in a split second. <laughs> That's not scary. You should hear her other laugh. Uh, okay, I guess I'd rather be in the know than cooped up in a tiny ship in deep space with only this guy to talk to. Love you too, Liam. So, yes? Okay, Artemis, I'm bringing these guys aboard. Understood. Once on board, please strap in and prepare for FTL jump. Here we go again. Sensors are picking up a strong power signature at the old base. Looks like someone has been busy. No response to any hands. Trevney, I'm glad to see that you survived. I don't think we've met before, miss. But if you're looking for Ben to Trevney, I would be more than happy to help.